just watching yourself and look at other guys. Um, you definitely. I mean, you want to look at guys that do it great. So, you know, we spent some time in the summer. You have more time to watch some pro tape. But, you know, uh, guys like Peyton Manning, you know, Drew Brees, um, you know, Tom Brady. I mean, those are, you know, three of the best in the league right now. And, you know, obviously they're doing things right. Um, but, you know, spending some time watching those tapes as well, just, you know, so if you're not seeing it in a certain way, at least maybe you can, you know, learn it in another way. So um, definitely watching as much film as possible of, of whoever's doing it all the time. And the last one away from you, I don't know if someone like Tyler Eifert really stepped in there the last half of the season. How has he evolved and what do you think you guys can get from him this year? I mean, he's definitely taking his game to the next level. Um, you know, he's one of the top playmakers in our offense. Um, you know, he, he's definitely stepped up his, his leadership. Um, and it's more vocal on the field, but you know he's one of the guys as well that's playing more confident. And you know you see guys play more confident because they're playing faster. They know what they're doing, and they're they're very crisp out there. Thank you. Hey, there's so much talk about going on about the number one quarterback. Do you, do you feel that pressure? Um, you know, you really can't, you know, concern yourself with, with that kind of stuff, and, and you, you really just kind of got to take it one day at a time, and, and just prepare to be the starter every single day, and um, just control the things that you can't control. And um, Coach Kelly was saying that he thinks you're a better player today than you were, you know, a year ago. Do you feel that way? I, I do. Um, you know, I feel a lot more confident when I'm out there, and um, you know, it's flattering to hear that. But at the same time, you know, you're you're trying you're, you're trying to one not become complacent, and, and two continue to improve on the things you can improve on, and you know, it, it would be. You know, wrong to say that you know you've ever made it to a point where you're good. I mean, there's always something that, that can improve. So, um, just continuing to identify those things and, and doing the best things um, you know, in that regard to, to work hard and, and make those things better. And what do you think it is specifically that that you've changed and are doing better? On? Um, at the end of the season, uh, the coaches and I identified a couple areas. You know, especially you know within footwork uh, and applying your footwork to your throws and things like that. Um, that you know, I spent a lot of time in the summer with, uh, you know, widening your base. I mean, just so many different things that, um, you know, that only I could really go out and do. I mean, they could, you know, harp on me for it or, um, you know, tell me that I needed to correct it. But at the end of the day, it was on me to go do those things. So that's what the summer was for. I mean, those are real invaluable hours when it's really kind of, you know, you and, and really no one else out there just getting in some good work. So um, summer was a, a very valuable time for us.